The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 16. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on the 16th of February, 1975, in Mexico. Nāsatu bhidyati bhāva, nā bhāva bhidyati sata, vayur bhi So, we are discussing about the soul and the body for the last four days. Now it is being concluded, not concluded, further uh, in form, the tattva-darsi vi. Tattva means the absolute truth. Who has seen the absolute truth? They are called tattva-darsi. The tattva means the absolute truth, the spirit whole. The spirit whole is realized in three features. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Madanti Tattavidas Tattyam. Those who are actually realized of the Absolute Truth, they say that the Absolute Truth is realized in three features. They Brahmeti Bhagavaniti, Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Sadhya. Absolute truth is realized in three features Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Brahma is the impersonal feature, Paramatma is the localized feature, and Bhagavan is the personal feature. So, in the first stage, just like the example we have given many times, that the sun shine, sun glow, and the sun god. We are, uh, we are, every one of us experience what is sun shine. That means the sun shine and sun glow, a uh, sun glow, the sun shine and sun god, although it is one, the sun sign portion we can easily understand. But nobody of us has gone to the sun glow. Therefore, there cannot be any direct perception of the sun glow. Rather, if we attempt to go to the sun glow, on the way we shall be finished. But the sun glow is not different from the sun sign, and is still the sun sign is not the sun glow. Being in the sun sign, you cannot say that you have seen the sun glow. You can simply understand that it is of the same quality. Namely, as the sun sign has light and heat, the sun glow has also light and heat. So although the quality is the same, the quantity is different. The temperature in the sun glow is very, very high. Similarly, tattva, the absolute truth, first realization is impersonal Brahma. That can be realized by ordinary man. Not ordinary man, a little advanced, can understand what is the sun sign. But to, ex- to have experience of the sun sign, we can put some theories, but directly it cannot be experienced. So, again, within the sun globe, there is the predominating deity, sun god. Actually, the heat and light is coming from the body of the sun god. So those who are uh, expert in studying the sun, the sun god, the sun glow, and the sun sign. This is an example. Similarly, there is possibility of understanding God, His Paramatma feature, all-pervading feature, as well as His Brahma feature. So, here it is said 
that na asata vidyate bhava asata means that which does not exist forever just like our this body it will not exist forever everyone knows it everyone knows that this body will be finished and to finish the body suppose if somebody comes immediately with some weapon and if he says i shall finish your body so immediately we shall be facing some danger but it is known to us that this body will be finished that means the danger is ahead i may meet the danger today or tomorrow or 100 years after the danger is awaiting so what we are going to stop the danger that is intelligence a cat and dog and anim cannot protect them from the danger of death but a human being they also try to animals they also try to save themselves from danger but they cannot do very nicely but a human being tries and can stop so every intelligent person should know that the danger is there i do not want that danger and how to stop it that is intelligence so if we do not try to stop the danger then we are not better than the animal so if you want to stop the danger of death then you have to understand the what is that absolute truth just like i have given already the example of sun sign if you come to the sun sign there is no darkness but if you keep yourself within closed door do not like to see the sun sign that is your own choice so everyone should try to come to the light that is vedic injunction tamasi ma jyoti dama means do not remain in darkness come to the light light means knowledge and darkness means ignorance so every one of us now in the ignorance that we do not know what i am everyone is in darkness in the concept of body ask anyone what you are he will say i am this body i am mr satan sir i am indian i am american this is all bodily description and we have already discussed this body is temporary but i the spirit soul am permanent i have already experienced that i had my childhood body at my babyhood body at my boyhood body youthhood body i know it uh, but the bodies are no more existing but i am existing so therefore i am permanent and the body is not permanent that's why it is said nasato vidyati bhavo permanency is not there in the body na bhavo vidyati sato and there is no uh, i want to say annihilation of the permanent of the eternal so this is krishna also he is the authority still he says that उभयरपि दृष्ट अंत तनय तत्वदर्शी ही ही सेज ऑल द तत्वदर्शी द नोअर ऑफ द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रू दे नो इट वेरी वेल एंड दे हैव डिसाइडेड लाइक दैट द पर्पस इज दैट वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द तत्वदर्शी ऑफ द सीयर ऑफ द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रू दैट इज नॉलेज our knowledge is imperfect because our senses are imperfect therefore we do not come to the right knowledge by exercising our senses the idea is that we should accept this statement of krishna and the shastra that we or i or you we are a spirit soul we are permanent and the body is not permanent but we should be uh, intelligent enough 
how we can get the condition of permanence. That is possible when you or I, we come to the platform of eternity. That is explained in another place of Bhagavad Gita. Bahavo jnana tapasa puta madhavam adhigachyati like that. Means that many persons by cultivating knowledge and tapasa, jnana tapasa, puta become purified, they have got the same status like me. The same status means God is eternal, God is full of knowledge, and God is full of bliss. So we are all part and parcel of God. We are part and parcel of God, therefore we have got the same quality. Just like a particle of gold has got the same quality as the big gold, as the small drop of sea water has got the same chemical composition as the large mass water. That God is Satchitananda Vigraha, eternal, full of bliss and knowledge, we can also attain that stage by purifying ourselves. That purificatory process is stated as tapasa, means knowledge and austerity. We can come to the real knowledge of our existence by purifying ourselves. The purificatory process we are introducing by this Krishna consciousness movement. And the method is very simple, chanting Hare Krishna mantra. The more you chant this maha mantra or the transcendental vibration, Hare Krishna, you become purified. Then you can understand what you are. Then every one of us, we can understand that I am not this body, I am not American, I am not Indian, I am not Mexican, I am spirit soul. This stage is called Brahma-bhuta, means self-realization. That is stated in the Bhagavad-gītā. Brahma-bhuta prathannātmā means as soon as you are self-realized, you become jubilant. In the bodily concept of life, we are always full of anxiety and morose. That is the material condition. But as soon as you realize yourself that you are not this body, you are different from this body, you become jubilant. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. This is means as soon as one is self realized, immediately he becomes happy, jubilant. And what is the symptom of becoming jubilant? That is also stated, no sochati, no kankati, he does not hanker after anything, neither he laments for any loss. In the material condition, we are in the platform of lamentation and hankering. Everyone is trying to possess something which he does not possess, and everyone is lamenting after losing his position. These are the condition of the materialistic person. So, Brahma realization or self realization means no longer lamentation, no longer hankering. The next stage is samas sarveshu bhuteshu, means then he becomes equal to everyone. He does not treat differently to different living entities, because he can see the spirit soul in everyone. He sees everyone on the same equal position. This stage is called uh, the bona fide stage for devotional service. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakankati Samas Sarvesh Bhutesu Madhvakti Lavati Pana. That is our perfectional stage. Madhvakti Lavati Pana means to be engaged in the loving service of God. So, cultivating knowledge, we are opening so many centers. You can take advantage and cultivate knowledge, jnana tapasa, and practice little austerity. Get this. Just like we are discussing in this meeting, it is meant for acquiring knowledge. 
So we hold meeting at least twice, thrice in every center. So you can also participate and take the knowledge. And if you practice little austerity, then two things, jnana tapasa, you become purified. And as soon as you are purified, you understand what you are and what is God and what is your relationship with God. And as soon as you know these three things, your life is perfect. Uh, thank you very much. Now you can ask questions. How do you think for the world? Have you got any understanding of God? Do you know what is God? What is that? Some. That means he has no clear idea. You do not know what is God clearly. He says some, this, that. That is not clear idea. So how you can understand the part and parcel of God? If you do not know what is God, how you can understand what is part and parcel of God? You think that God is love and never will be love and service. That I will be preaching. That we have samas sarve bhuteshu. See everyone on the equal level and love. That's all. That we have explained that you have to accept another body. And there are eight million four hundred thousand different forms of body. And you will be awarded one of the body out of the eight million four hundred thousand. The body is awarded according to your karma or action. Then we are acting in three modes of material nature. Some of them are acting in goodness. Some of them are acting in passion, and some of them are acting in ignorance. So there are three different modes of activities. Now when you mix up three, three into three, it becomes nine. And again, if you multiply nine by nine, it becomes eighty-one. So it increases, and so subtle division of the mixture of the three qualities. That's why the painter, he knows how to mix the three original color, namely blue, yellow, and red. The red color represents passion, and the yellow color represents ignorance, and the blue color represents goodness. So, as the color painter knows how to mix and make varieties of colors, Similarly, the three modes of material nature being mixed up, they are represented in so many different forms of body. So at the present moment, in your human form of body, you are also mixing the same qualities in your defined desires. That means you are creating your next body. So at the time of death, the thoughts and the activities which will be prominent within your mind, you will get a similar body in next life. Therefore, the intelligent man should be very cautious to get the next body. We can get the body like God, we can get the body like the dog. Therefore, the best intelligent person should try to endeavor to get the next body like God. That is Krishna consciousness movement that you endeavor in this life, so long you are alive, to get a body like God. That will solve your all problems, namely birth, death, old age, and disease. What is the difference between God and ourselves? What is the relationship? God is great, we are small. Otherwise we the same. God is also living entity, you are also living entity. God is eternal, you are also eternal. God is full of bliss, you are also full of bliss. So quality, there is no difference. Only difference is quantity. Just like a drop of sea water, it is salty. 
So this means in the drop there is salt. But the quantity of the salt in the drop is not equal to the quantity of the salt in the vast water. And there is another example, just like the big fire and the sparks of the fire. The spark of the fire, when it falls on your cloth, a point like space, it can burn. But the big fire can burn the whole building. So the quality of God is in every one of us. We may take as a small God, that's all. But the power is defined. God can create a planet like the sun which is floating in the air, and you can create a small airplane floating in the air. God can create a mosquito which has got the same construction like the aeroplane, but you cannot do it. That is the difference between God and you. You can create, He can create, but His creation and your creation is not equal. Who put this question? What is the difference between God and all? Uh, you put, what is it? That you can understand what is the relation between big and small. The big is the master and the small is the servant. If somebody is big, a big merchant, big factory owner, you go to serve him. So that relation is very clear that the master, the big is the master and the small is the servant. Therefore our business is to serve God. We are serving, but we are now serving dog. We are taking care of dog, not of God. This is our position. Because we are meant for service. So instead of giving service to God, we are giving service to dog. Therefore we are unhappy. See there. I've been thinking further again, how does one continue with spiritual progress? And two questions. And also, when one seems very weak to a father, how can we go to First of all, the next body may not be for cultivating knowledge in spiritual life because we are already fallen and if we do not elevate, we may accept another body is still fallen. Therefore, the intelligent person in this human form of life should take to spiritual cultivation of knowledge immediately. Immediately means before another death takes place, because death will take place, that is certain. Okay. So our duty is immediately take to cultivation of spiritual knowledge so that we may get next life either liberation or another opportunity for cultivating spiritual knowledge. So anyone who begins cultivation of spiritual knowledge he is on the path of perfection. But even if he falls down immaturely, he is guaranteed to get next life a human body, so that he can again begin his cultivation of spiritual knowledge and make his life perfect. Therefore the conclusion is that without delay we should immediately take to spiritual life and try to make our life perfect. Because there is no certainty when our death is coming. That is real intelligence. How many births do we have? Hmm? How many births do we have? Birth? There is no counting. Because unless you come to spiritual life, the birth and death will continue. Yes. Do we have to look at ourselves in karma in order to achieve Krishna? Yeah, that is karma is the binding. So long our mind is karma cause, then we have to take another. Therefore, bhakti is defined. Anavilasita sunnam, jnana karma anabritam karma. People are very much enthusiastic to be engaged in karma, fruitive activities. And some of them, are very eager to speculate in knowledge. That is called jnana. Therefore bhakti is jnana karma dana abhritam. 
It must be uncovered by the speculative knowledge and fruitive activities. By karma you are bound up to accept birth and death. By jnana you can be liberated for the time being, but you again fall down. But by bhakti you have firmly fixed up in your spiritual platform. Innumerable, you cannot count. This is one of the universes with so many planets, suns, moon, that is stated in the Vedic literature. Jasya prabha prabhavatu jagadanda koti. Jagadanda means the universe. Uh, it is ball-like, honda, egg-like. Jagadanda koti, koti means millions. So all combined together there is material world. This is only one-fourth part of the creation of God. And the three-fourth part is the spiritual world. Do you think uh, these kind of Buddha They have got little advancement, just like Mohammedan. They accept the kingdom of God, and the Buddhists, they say that this material world has to be finished. Buddhists do not give any information of the spiritual world, but they do not like this material world, they want to finish it. So every religious principle is preached according to the candidate, place, and time. So if one surpasses these stages, then uh, he can come to the higher stages of spiritual understanding. Hey, hey, this is hmm? Yes, if there is no right information, it is something like that. You should try to understand what is really a Religion means the law of God. Just like law means the rulings given by the state, that is law. Similarly, religion means the rulings given by God. But if one does not know what is God, then how he can accept what is his ruling? Therefore, anyone who has got very scanty knowledge of God, that kind of religion is also scanty. That is the definition in the basic religion. Dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Dharma, religion means the codes or the law given by God. And the Bhagavad Gita, the same ruling is given. Law. Sarva dharman paritajya mamitam saranam braja. You give up. All types of man-made religion is simply surrender unto me. Therefore the conclusion is religion means to surrender to God. So one who is fully surrendered to God is religionist. <laughs>